But the solution for day 60 is actually reasonably straightforward. Let's start by importing date time. Now I'm going to get today's date first of all, which is always important. So that's date time dot date dot today. So we'll have that stored. The next thing I want to do is I want to get the date from the user. So let's prompt them for that. And don't forget, you can do this in any order that's sensible for your country. I'm then going to make event, which is going to be date time date. Remember it's year, month, day. So I've got both those parts. So how do I work out the difference between them? Well, hopefully it should be as simple as this. Okay. So we've got a simple output from there saying 58 days and no, hours, which is pretty cool. Now, one of the little hidden things that I haven't shown you just yet, which you may think is useful at this point is dealing with the time Delta. Now we'll start by going, if the difference is uh, greater than zero. So if it's in the future, we're going to print out the difference. Let's get rid of that there. Elif, why I'm putting brackets in everywhere. I don't know. Elif, the difference less than zero. So if it was in the past, let's print out a bunch of crying emoji because why not? And else, which will be, if it is actually today, we'll print out the party emoji in my frequently used for some reason. So let's test that out. So the first of December, 2022 in the future for me. So that crashes. Well, it's because we need to add one special thing on. Now that dot days is going to extract the number of days difference from the time Delta, which is really, really powerful. And that allows us to treat it like an integer. That is the magic special source that we needed to get this thing working. And now we've got a system that works perfectly. Thank you.